Welcome to the Wellness Connection with Dr. McMinn. Dr. McMinn is Birmingham's wellness doctor, practicing cutting-edge, world-class wellness medicine at McMinn Clinic in Homewood, Alabama. Each week, Dr. McMinn interviews experts in the field of integrative wellness medicine. The Wellness Connection brings you the information you need to optimize your health in mind, body, and spirit. And now, here's Dr. McMinn. Good morning and welcome once again to the Wellness Connection with Dr. McMinn. We're here as usual with our moderator, Misty Walraven. Good morning, Misty. What's up, Dr. McMinn? Uh, How are you doing today? (laughs) If I was doing any better, I wouldn't be able to stand myself. (laughs) That's wonderful. (laughs) Hope you're all doing well, too. We're going to talk about a really important subject today. It's called andropause, which is what we call the male menopause. Uh, So uh, we're going to have a real good conversation about that. Uh, Before we get going, let me tell you just a little bit about myself. Uh, I have a practice in Homewood, Alabama called the McMinn Clinic. Isn't that creative? (laughs) (laughs) A lot of thought went into that, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) So anyway, we practice world-class integrative medicine. I am a residency trained and board certified MD physician, also currently on faculty at the UAB School of Medicine. So anyway, uh, once again, Misty and I are going to talk to you this morning about male menopause. You know, Misty, uh, I, women go through all the hot flashes, <laughs> night sweats, all that kind of stuff, and uh, us men, we just walk around being grumpy all the time. Exactly. <laughs> so, so unfair. <laughs> it is. It is. So uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, it's an important subject, and uh, you know, with women, uh, their hormones decline over the years, and uh, ours do too, darn it, and let's, uh, let's recognize it and call it for what yeah, it I is. I think men are just in denial. <laughs> that, well, we are in denial. Uh, by the way, I wrote a, a wonderful article one time uh, in the National Awakenings. I'll put a plug in for National Awakenings, and uh, it's called uh, The Grumpy Old Man Syndrome. We'll be sure and post that up on the blog this weekend, so y'all take a look at that, The Grumpy Old Man Syndrome. So anyway, let's get going with the uh, topic. Uh, Misty, uh, um, what kind of questions have you heard about uh, from our patients on male menopause? Well, you know, a lot of people want to know what causes it. I mean, how, how do you get there? How do you get to andropause? Well, first of all, uh, you know, male menopause, what it is, is just kind of like the, a reversal of puberty, if you will. You know, when we're mm. when we're young, when we're like uh, little kids, we really have very little uh, testosterone. Then we kind of go through that raging hormone uh, period. We all remember that, right, when you're 17, 18? And, uh, <laughs> I thought you were still uh, yeah, there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we get into a, what we call a wild youth uh, period. And then at about uh, 40 years old, uh, uh, I hate to say it, uh, it's sort of a, a downhill slide from there. Uh, and uh, uh, sometimes when we get to, into our 60s and 70s, it's almost like a second childhood, Misty. And, uh, so, yeah. so anyway, uh, uh, what we try to do then is to try to recognize it, do the proper test, and get, get that uh, corrected and get people, uh, get, get guys feeling better. So it's basically a... Uh, an issue where the testosterone is declining uh, fairly rapidly after the age of, say, uh, uh, 40 or so. And, uh, um, but, you know, it, it starts about 25, doesn't it? Doesn't the actual decline start when you get into your 20s? Good question, Misty. Uh, uh, for a change. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, there is a, um, a wonderful concept called a biochemical individuality. Uh, you know, some guys will start to feel the effects at about 25. Some guys uh, not till about uh, 40 or so. Oh, okay. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's... Um, it, it can be uh, variable from guy to guy. But you know, Mary, Misty, it's really interesting to me. I, I think one could reasonably ask the question, does aging cause hormone decline or does hormone decline cause aging? Yeah. Because it's really a lot of times just that uh, hormone decline in men and women, uh, but particularly we're talking about guys today, as that testosterone declines, wow, uh, the symptoms of aging really start kicking in. Yeah, because, you know, testosterone, I hear on a daily basis, people think testosterone is just libido. <laughs> you well, know, it's so much more than that. Yeah, that's right. And we're going to talk a lot about yeah. that today. It's a total body hormone. It really affects every single cell in your body. Uh, in fact, uh, the fact of the matter is that every cell has testosterone receptors. I remember reading uh, an article one time. They were talking about they did an assay of uh, the different kinds of cells in your body. And uh, um, they were saying these cells with the most testosterone receptors of all, one would think, what, the testicles or something like that, but the, the ones with the most receptors were the coronary arteries. Oh, wow. That's your heart arteries. So it really can affect uh, coronary blood flow and uh, those kind of things. Um, you know, another thing, uh, Misty, that's really interesting to me is that if you look at the average testosterone level for, say, a 50-year-old or so man uh, um, and compare it to a 50-year-old man from, say, uh, 50 years ago, 
it's really interesting. Worldwide, you see testosterone levels dropping. Wow. You think that has to do with toxins, like the, the more pollution we're putting in the air and the environment today? Well, that's a great question, and I, I think we don't really know the answer, but that's uh -huh. the, the working theory, is that somehow, yeah. you know, the toxins, and, and maybe it's the diet uh, changes. It's hard <laughs> to really say, but definitely these days, the average guy has less testosterone uh, than um, guys years ago. Wow. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think that. You, you wouldn't, wouldn't think, think that, would you? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you think andropause comes on suddenly, or is it just something that's gradually over time and you just don't notice it as much? I think for the vast majority of guys, it comes on uh, gradually. It's very insidious. Mm -hmm. um, and for you, Misty, that means uh, like slow going. Um, yeah. uh, but uh, anyway. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Thank you for yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, for the, uh, uh, some guys, in fact, I had a guy in the office recently. It was really fascinating. He was, uh, say, in his uh, uh, mid-30s or so and uh, was uh, going along doing just perfectly fine. Uh, and then, boom, his testosterone just dropped down to almost zero. And he had a pituitary failure type issue and oh, so, wow. so it's uh, the you know the brain once again the pituitary gland really kind of controls the tes testicles and the testosterone levels and so he had a sudden precipitous drop in uh, mm -hmm. uh, testosterone. So does stress um, have a, a role in testosterone dropping? Either if somebody's really stressed yes, out, can that affect their levels? That's right. And of course, the stress makes you have high cortisols, okay, which then yeah, subsequently which then, can, right. can affect the testosterone levels. Sure can. Okay. Uh, so, what are some of the symptoms of male menopause? You know, there are a bunch of them. Misty. Uh, once again, we all often kind of uh, think of it as just uh, uh, muscles and libido, but it mm -hmm. can be so many more. A lot of the symptoms are really uh, psychological symptoms, you know, irritability, uh, um, depression, <laughs> even. And in fact, there was an article in one of the major medical journals looking at uh, depression and testosterone replacement therapy. It is really fascinating how they, they they found that sometimes testosterone replacement therapy could uh, um, uh, help out with depression in wow. some instances where the psychiatric medications could yeah. not. Yeah, well, you know, you think of the first, first thing pe most people mm -hmm. do is go to a physician right. and they get prescribed an antidepressant of when course. they just really need a little testosterone. Uh, uh, absolutely. <laughs> so fatigue is another big one. Uh, uh, anger, confusion, you know, that one's, one's gonna, that grumpy old man syndrome that uh, we mm -hmm. talked about. Like you have. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Misty. <laughs> Only on Mondays. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, um, and then the, um, it just can't concentrate. Uh, mental status changes. Uh, not just not as sharp as we used to be. Yeah. Um, some men actually have hot flashes and night sweats, just wow. like the like the women do, and that's something. <laughs> and uh, therefore, uh, can't sleep. That is equaling it out between yeah. the sexes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, I love the word mojo, Misty. I, I know think, you uh, do. Uh, yeah. I know. Yeah, uh, the I blues, to, the blues song. That's right. I used to play in a blues band years ago. We had this wonderful song. I got my mojo working. This doesn't work on you. Uh, so anyway, uh, when your uh, testosterone is down, you just your get up and go is gone up and went, and just yeah. have no mojo. So um, yeah, I think it can really play a big role. In, uh, in guys uh, in every which way. And once again, every single cell in your body has testosterone receptors. So think of it as a total body hormone. How do you think um, testosterone affects men with Alzheimer's? Well, you know, that, that's interesting too. Uh, I remember reading a study one time. Uh, it was from a, um, uh, a journal, I think it was called The Aging Male. And it talked about uh, a study where they took a bunch of guys with Alzheimer's and uh, they put half of them on testosterone and half of them they uh, just put on placebo. And the guys with the testosterone actually got better over the next year, whereas mm -hmm. the guys with placebo continued to decline in the rate that you would expect wow. uh, um, with Alzheimer's. So, yeah, uh, it can definitely affect a, a cognitive function. Um, in fact, I remember I had a guy in uh, uh, recently, uh, just in the last couple of weeks, uh, uh, he had come in and had a low level, and I never supplement unless somebody is actually low, um, but uh, he was quite low, and we got him on testosterone, and uh, when he came back, he said, Jim, I cannot believe how much this has helped my cognitive function. Mm -hmm. So uh, it really is a, a huge deal for cognitive function. So are there any um, actual physical signs of low yeah. testosterone or andropause? Um, yes, there are, Missy. Um, um, you know, and andropause uh, um, can really be important in terms of that whole body composition type yeah. thing. Um, uh, when a guy has low testosterone, he definitely has more fat mass and less yeah. lean body mass. Yeah. Uh, so you see signs uh, uh, like the... Uh, the <laughs> the old, moobs. Uh, the man boobs. Uh, right? you call, what do you call them? Moobs? moobs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so you need a bro instead right. of a bra. <laughs> oh, God. I know. Oh, yes, the, <laughs> what am I going to do with you? Uh, but uh, you get the reduction in facial hair, and uh, um, and uh, so yeah, there can certainly be uh, some significant problems. A lot of the guys uh, say, um, even despite you know, say working hard. I had a guy in the office just yesterday um, who said, 
he was working harder, that is, his, his workout routines were uh, uh, more strenuous, and yet he was losing muscle mass. Yeah. And, uh, you know, once again, I never sued testosterone for the purpose of athletic performance, uh, bodybuilding, uh, that's, a, that's a real no-no. Uh, but I do find a lot of guys who then come in and they got uh, really low T level, uh, then um, uh, they definitely are losing that uh, muscle mass and they're getting more the uh, central body mass. Yeah. The and, you know, Misty, uh, the muscle mass is not all about looking good in the bathing suit on the beach um, <laughs> or impressing your girlfriend. Uh, you know, uh, uh, as we get older, you know, um, um, you know, you, you hear this phrase, help I fall and can't get up. Uh, uh, a lot of times, you know, the reason we fall uh, has to do with we don't have the muscles uh, right. in the lower legs. And so it mainly maintaining that muscle mass is really a part of uh, overall health. Yeah.